The diesel truck is built for towing and reliability, but what are the limits of the diesel truck, and specifically the 6.7 Power Stroke? Well, that is what we are going to be testing in today's video, loading up my 8,500-pound 6.0 Power Stroke on a 3,100-pound flatbed trailer and driving over 400 miles to test the fuel mileage and overall reliability of my 6.7 Power Stroke. So we are in the 7.3 Power Stroke today, and we are actually headed to pick up a trailer in College Station, Texas, where my shop is located. As you guys can see, that's where we're at right now. But we're doing something special for you guys this weekend. I'm going to my first ever truck meet and I wanna film a badass video for you guys. Me towing the 6.0 Power Stroke with the 7.3 Power Stroke, kind of calculating out the fuel mileage. We're gonna go pick up the trailer. We're gonna hook up the trailer on the 7.3. We're actually gonna be bumper pulling the uh, 6.0. So if you guys know anything about 7.3s, especially in 1996, they have the hitch on the bumper. It's actually attached to the bumper. It's not an actual receiver. So what we're gonna do is bumper pull it. I've bumper pulled almost 8,000 pounds on that bumper. And so I really do trust it. Yeah, the 7.3 is not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the 6.7 to tow with the 7.3. So we're basically just going to change the video to towing with the 6.7 instead of the 7.3. Taking all three up there. So I have Justin driving the 7.3 and then I'm also going to be, I'm going to be the one driving the 6.7. So after realizing that the 7.3 is not going to pull the 6.0, I decided it was time to put the 6.7 into action. But before we get to towing anything, I need to give these rigs a bath. That's why I decided to call up my buddy William to come and do a full detail and wash on my 7.3 Power Stroke and my 6.0 Power Stroke. One of the first things that I want to do to make sure we look actually somewhat decent at the truck meet is to get it detailed and get it cleaned up. So that's what William is here for. So if you guys need detailing work in the college station area, he can take care of you guys. I'll leave his phone number on the screen that you guys can call him. But yeah, right now we're gonna run a little B-roll of him doing some uh, detailing on it. William's uh, almost finished up here. Damn, dude, that's nuts. Holy shit. Dude, that is lit. Oh my lord, bro. That is so cool. Freaking insane, guys. Awesome detailing job by William. We're gonna be definitely showing this off at the truck meet this weekend when y'all guys see this video. Dude, hell yeah. That's fucking hell nuts, yeah. bro. There she is, boys. Getting all cleaned up, wrapped up. Just gotta dry it off now. One done, two done. We got the rig all up on there. <laughs> She's tooted, bro. Damn. She's gonna haul though pretty good, I think. I think we're good, dude. Send it. Imagine on that, guys. Look at how the 6.7's tooted. Imagine on that bumper. The rigs. See y'all in Nacogdoches. Justin's actually gonna be driving the 7.3 out there. I'm gonna be driving the 6.7. We're gonna be seeing how the 6.7 tows, and then I'm gonna be kind of asking Justin how the 7.3 drives, because I've never had somebody else drive the 7.3 ever, other than the first owner, of course, but. First time ever had the 6.0 on the freaking trailer, boys. It's lit. We're gonna be doing a 50 mile test, and then we're gonna be doing a 100 mile test, and then we're gonna be doing a 200 mile test. So we're gonna see how it tows. First, right off the rip, first half a mile, I mean, it is heavy. It's got to be 10k pounds, 10,000 pounds plus, 100% on this boy. All right, guys, we on the 73 rig off the Nacogdoches. Got the 6067. miles in and we are getting 10.6 miles per gallon which actually isn't too bad for her towing 10,000 pounds yeah. that 
heard a whistle, boys. We're about 125 miles in. I'm gonna go see. We're hitting 10.4 miles per gallon. That's about where we're gonna hover at right now. Honestly, I've been trying to get better fuel mileage, but really cannot get past that. Gauge mode now and see where we're sitting at. 210 for old temp. Now, everything's cruising, running great, and I'm not too worried about what the temps are. 10.2, that's kind of the closing out fuel mileage. We are on gauge mode here, running it really hard. 228, holy shit. Got the 6.0. We're gonna bring her down off the trailer now and put it right here. I got the 7.3 right there. Got all three of them. That one, that one. And then that one right there. Uh, this is Jacob. He uh, has a 6.0 in there that we're gonna go see. We're gonna see all the trucks today. So, and we literally brought every truck. So, uh, let's go into the spot and show you guys the builds. So, we might be getting this tire soon because my 6.0 is like the tires are toast. Oh, this hoe's clean though. He's one of my subscribers actually. This is his truck though. It's freaking clean as heck. Hell yeah, son. Clean. Oh, we got the Starlights. Hey, I gotta do this to a 7.3. <laughs> We just finished up with East Texas Showdown. I had a pretty decent time there. We also drove all the rigs out here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys a fuel mileage real quick here. Yeah, I had a pretty good time there. We were able to rip the 6L around a little bit, a little bit, and able to meet some of you guys that actually watched my content. So I appreciate you guys who saw me out there. We are headed back into town, back to my automotive shop. We're gonna unload the 6L and go ahead and see our fuel mileage test, which is what we're doing. But as of right now, we have another 180 miles to go. It's $3.99 for diesel here. As of right now, we are filling up the gas tank. I'll show you guys how much we put in, and then we're gonna finish the final kind of fuel miles test with towing. We filled up first in this video. We had 370 miles till E. Now we only have 268 miles till E. So that's what happens when you get 10 miles per gallon, but 267 miles only till E. When I normally fill up and I'm at 14 to 15 miles per gallon, I get 380 miles till E. So you can see right there, we have finished the next 100, 150 miles. Still indeed getting 10 miles per gallon, which is absolutely atrocious for what we're doing. But let me know what fuel mileage you guys get towing this heavy of a load. It's about 10,000 pounds on the actual trailer. What we're gonna do now is I wanna test something. I wanna see how the fuel mileage improves after we take the 6.0 off of it. We got the actual 6.0 off the trailer, as you guys can see right there. We are actually going to drive 20 miles, so I'm gonna reset the fuel mileage right now. I'm setting it, and I'm gonna drive another 30 miles to see what we get on the average here. Show you guys how much of a difference actually towing makes in your fuel mileage. All right, guys, we finished the 20 miles, and we got 1.7 miles per gallon better without the 6.0 versus the 6.0 on. You guys saw right there, we clearly got better, a little bit better fuel economy without the 6.0. That's kind of how much of a difference a heavier load makes on fuel mileage is about about 1.7 miles per gallon. That's not like 100% accurate, of course, because we are driving different terrain, but give a rating on comfortability for the 6.7, I'd give it probably a nine out of 10. No, I'd probably give it like an eight out of 10. Compared to the newer, newer diesels, this is probably an eight out of 10. Uh, it is a 2015 6.7 power stroke, so eight out of 10 on comfortability. Handling, I give it a eight out of 10 as well, because the bigger tires are nice and all, but it, is, it does make it a little bit harder to handle. Handling is about an eight out of 10, and then also fuel mileage is, I would honestly don't really know how to compare it because I've never really towed heavy 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 like that before so i would probably say like a six seven out of ten i don't know what you guys get on fuel economy so overall i think the truck did great ran smooth if y'all guys want to get any automotive work at my automotive shop you guys can psc automotive we're putting in a turbo on my six seven this week and a bunch of other trucks leave all the details in the description down below and the number on the screen that you guys can call to get your automotive work thank you guys for watching and peace out